Well, folks, I'm just out here in the Polish Lavu, so uh, I got the hot tin in here. Well, happy fired up Friday. But it's in here measuring the Polish Lavu because I want to do something. But I'll show you what what I got going on. Uh, I'll turn around and show you. Well, there's the hot tent stove. Let's um, change more. So I got my tape measure right here. Measuring across. I want to measure across. So this is eight feet cross laying this this way diagonal. So I'm thinking if I use this stove and me and my son can camp, he could lay right here. And then I could lay on this side, and we could change the stove to back here or, or wherever, have a different angle. And I was thinking, well, I want to measure the center pole too. I already measured the outside for, uh, well, it could be the inside or outside, the same, but from the bottom to the top up there is like six feet and then it's add a little couple extra inches like six feet four or so so we i want to make a thing to go up there in the middle so we don't have to have the pole in the middle right here so if i make something out of leather or buy one of those fancy gadgets those those guy has um i'll have to find it i think it's on Etsy or some, I don't know. I'll, I'll find the name of it. But some little uh, bracket they um, printed out. 3D printed bracket you put in there. Gets rid of this this pull in the middle. And so instead of having this pull, we got it's not in the way. But I'm just measuring for this to put two or three poles and you can hang it go on the inside or outside and hang it from the middle with the like a tripod and put a little piece up there hanging so I'll be doing that a few from the outside this is that stainless steel real thin stainless steel I want to get one of those guide out things so it can guide out the line so it doesn't fall over. And also, I've seen that they say to take and anchor your stove. I just seen that. It makes sense because when the wind's blowing, this, this is going to move. You see that? So, if I get some anchors and anchor it all the way around it. It'll keep it stable, plus having up on top stable. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. The other stove doesn't have no holes in it like this, but I tried to make some things like that and it did help yesterday when I was messing around. Anchored in, but you gotta have some better, something better than that. But in a pinch that would work. So back to Fired Up Friday. I put another log in there. It's burning nicely in there. Like, gonna burn it all to ash, I'm sure. Happy Fired Up Friday, folks. Just using this other um, change more stove this is a stainless steel also but it's a got the sides are rolled up and then the flue is rolled up type I never did a video on this one but I'll do a review video on it 
probably pretty soon. This is a backpacking stove. This is like, I think it weighs like four pounds or something or less. Or no, two point something pounds. That's what it is. 2.5 pounds, I guess it is. But it's a real thin gauge uh, stainless steel. And the flue pipe is a stainless steel thin gauge. It rolls up into a real thin, just like that other titanium one I had. It's in my shed right now, but I'm just going to use this one. But I need to get a, a cap for it and a, one of those guide out lines, spark rest or cap thingies that you could put those guidelines on to hold it still because it uh, it want to fall over in the in the wind or whatever. Cause it's only attached right there with those little slide down pieces of um, stainless steel little rings and um, I, I used this before I think last year when I got it and you can cook on top because it gets real nice and hot because it's real thin gauge but I just made sure all these are tight before using every time I use it just make sure everything's tightened up these were loose I, I, I think I never tightened them up from last time I used it so I make sure that all those tightened up and there's a glass in the back too um, just make sure those are all tightened up nice and tight so you don't lose no parts or nothing but uh, there it is my change change more other backpacking stove the light light one the other ones I think of four or eleven pounds or something I don't know what it is but this one is uh a lot lighter I think it is 2.5 pounds so I'll look it up and but anyways they there's this one's not uh available right now but they do still have their pictures and stuff on Amazon but uh Anyways, happy Friday, Friday, folks, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.